Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator. In the last part, we did some structure dueling with Nico here. Nico here. One duel, which didn't go very well, as you might imagine, might, 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 might have remembered. In this part, we're going to do it again. We're going to duel with Dragon's Roar again, versus the 5D st starter deck. That's okay, because 5D starter deck is kind of not very good, really, unfortunately. So... Hopefully, I'll be able to show off the the uh, this deck a little better than last time, because this deck is a very aggressive deck. Draw. So we got a ceasefire, it forces um, it, it pe penalizes you for uh, having defensive monsters. Curse of Anubis forces into defense, but cuts defense to, ha to to zero. I'll play a Masked Dragon, and end my turn. Hmm. Now what, Nico? Seeing you, seeing as you have the five D starter deck, you're gonna have interesting. I mean, whatever, sure. I'm fine with you helping my. With you helping me out with like, like like this, you're gonna summon. I am going to activate Mask Dragon special ability. I will summon another Mask Dragon. And you will summon something else, Magma Drago. Hmm. Magma Dra Mag Magna Drago. Sorry. Magna Drago is a card that I want for this deck, for my current deck. Because it's a low level monster with high attack, and it's also a tuner monster, meaning that I can synchro summon with it. Draw. This is a stamping destruction, huh? Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can save Arm Dragon level 3. I will summon Arm Dragon level 3 in attack mode. And then I'll activate Stamping Destruction, which destroys a face down. which destroys a spell or trap card on the field and deals the owner 500 points of damage. I can only use that if I have a Dragon type on the field. So that was a Birthright, which is now gone. Not that he could have used it for anything, as there aren't any normal monsters in his graveyard right now. But oh well. And then... I'll attack Mag Magma Magna Drago with my Mask Dragon to take them both out. And I'll use Mask Dragon special ability to summon another monster. Which will be... Hmm... It could be another Armed Dragon, I guess. But you have wind. Um, Arm Dragon is a wind attribute, so this thing, this thing's special ability is if this card is destroyed, your opponent's monster, but destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can attack another time in a row. Which isn't that helpful right now. I don't really like Element Dragon that much. It's not very good for level four. I will bring out Twin Headed Behemoth instead, because this thing has a double life. Hmm. And it also has 1,500 points, just like the Element Dragon. But if it, yeah, if Twin Head of Behemoth is destroyed, then it comes back to life with a thousand attack and defense. So I've just knocked down three, nearly 3,000 of your life points. I'll end my turn with that, I think. <laughs> so, and Atlantean Pikeman. Well, this is kind of an issue. Because it can destroy my armed dragon, and it isn't going to be affected by uh, Curse of Anubis because it's not an effect monster. That's a pain. Yeah, I, ca I can't actually do anything with this, unfortunately. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hmm. Sorry, armed dragon. <laughs> Looks like. Looks like the aggressive arm dragon end of the of this deck isn't going to start up this time. Also, I just dropped something. Sorry about that. I, I do that often for some reason. I keep I 
fiddle around with things and I drop them and it makes noise. Okay. Another stamping destruction. I don't want another monster. I, I don't want to spell a trap card on this, on this field. It's dangerous. Now, my twin headed behemoth will crush your Atlantean pikeman. I should have brought another armed dragon, really. I mean, who would have expected him to have a level 2 monster, uh, another level 2 monster with 1400 attack points? Who would have expected that? I mean, that's just weird, you yeah? know? Oh well. <laughs> there aren't that many mon there aren't that many low level monsters like level level two monsters with that highest with, with those that highest stats. Oh well. Draw. I have a quick creature swap. Um hmm. I will activate ceasefire. Your monsters flip to it face up. You take 500 points of damage for each effect monster. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now. Mm -mm. Mm. I could snatch steal it and uh, and go for the uh, for the kill. But I can't kill him yet. Unfortunately, I can't kill him yet even if I do take his monster because my monsters don't have enough attack points. Like, look, seeing as I only have one, and it's level three. This is, this is still not as aggressive as most dragon decks are, u are usually, unfortunately. I'll play Dragon's Rage face down. But that's all. I end my turn. <clears throat> Dark Blade. Oh, What is it with this guy in, like, high, high stats... The high stats normal monsters. It's annoying. Oh well. Oh well, I, I took some damage. That sucks. Ow. <laughs> oh dear. I might as well play this, you know? I might as well. Twin Behemoth's special ability special summons himself from the graveyard with a thousand attack and defense when he's destroyed. I draw. I will activate the Creature Swap spell card. I'll give you Twin-Headed Behemoth in, uh, in, uh, in exchange for that Dark Blade. Mm -mm. Now, Dark Blade will destroy Twin-Headed Behemoth, giving you extra damage. Yay. <laughs> I was thinking I might have needed to use the Snatch Steel again. Uh oh. This time. I, I expected him to have given me the uh, Renge, but I'm fine with him not doing that. <laughs> if he plays a monster d face down, I can I, I can uh, I can use Normal Necross out on it. If he doesn't, which he hasn't, I can take his Renge or just throw the Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed! I draw two. Hmm. <laughs> I can I can make th I can make this work. Definitely, I, I can definitely make this work. I activate Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel allows me to take control of your monster, but you gain a thousand life points for every turn it's on the field. However, I, it's, it's not going to be on the field for long because I'm going to sacrifice Renge and Dark Blade to summon. Red Eyes Black Dragon in attack mode. Red Eyes, yay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it isn't enough to one-shot him, but it is enough to hit him very hard. It's also probably enough to... Uh, it, bleh. It's, it's also probably enough to um, to knock him out of the running, considering... He hasn't got any cards on the field, so he's not going to be able to summon it, summon for anything, most likely. What? Did you... what? Why did you do that? What did you... Oh dear. Draw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, that monster was Water Spirit, which was awful, but it was a tuna. Huh. Symbol of Duty brings Dark Blade, whose stats aren't great. It really doesn't help you much. I summon Mask Dragon. Sorry, my friend, I have an extra monster. Red Eyes, smash Dark Blade. No, <laughs> I didn't need to worry about it anyway. I forgot about Dragon's Roar. Dragon's Rage. Do do. Yeah, so um, that was how Dragon. That's, that was how a Dragon deck is supposed to be played, or rather, how um, how the the deck is supposed to work out, rather. So, seeing as we've gone for, uh, see, see, seeing as this this duel has lasted all of like ten minutes, let's do another one. Let's play the dot zombie deck now. Zombie versus machine deck, huh? Sounds like fun. Mm -mm -mm. So, I happen to know that the zombie deck is full of zombie monsters, surprise, surprise, combinating in Vampire Genesis, and the Vampire the vampire Lord, Vampire Genesis combo from GX, I believe it's from GX, whereas Machine Revolt, I believe, is Gadget, Gadget Monsters. So... I'll play Compulsory Evacuation Device, and I'll double them across out that face down. <laughs> gear Golem. Goodbye, Gear Golem. Too bad. I summon Regenerating Mummy in attack mode. Mummy's going to attack you directly. Rip and tear. <laughs> That'll do. I'm my turn. Regenerating Mummy, Mummy is a fine, is a fun card. 1800 attack points is nice for a level four. It's not amazing, but it's nice. Um, and its ability means that it can't be discarded from it from from the hand, which isn't amazing, but is is at least acceptable. Draw. That's a reckless gre reckless greed. I don't like reckless greed much. It's probably important. It, it can be very important in certain such situ certain situations. But I don't really like using it very much. I'll play Pyramid Turtle in defense mode, and I'll attack. I'll attack with uh, Regenerating Mummy into that face-down defense mode monster. Which is probably going to be... Oh, it's an Ancient Gear. Ancient Gear is not bad. It's, a, it's not bad. It's not good. It's no good. Sorry. When I meant Gadget, I meant Gadget and Ancient Gear, rather. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> I know I... yeah. I did just backtrack, sorry about that. <laughs> Technically, I am now... I am now correct. It is a... 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 a, a gadget mon... gadget... and ancient gear deck. So, draw. That's another... For heaven's sake. Another despair from the dark. Well, I, I can summon it, but it's not going to be very helpful right now. I'll attack his face down monster again. What's the monster this time? Heavy mech support platform. He doesn't seem to have very much in his, in his opening hand, unfortunately. How's it like, AI? What, what's it like to have a pathetic starting hand? Oh wait, I know how it... I know what it's like, because it's happened to me many times. <laughs> Discard from my hand, please. Please do. Uh. He's got a very, very, uh, very large back row. Oh well. I draw. Spirit Reaper. Well, that's interesting. I'll play Spirit Reaper face down. Uh, I'm tempted to go Reckless Greed, but uh, there's no point. I'll flip Pyramid Turtle over to attack mode. I'll attack with Regenerating Mummy and take out that face down monster of yours. That's an enemy controller, okay. Switch my regenerating mummy to defense mode. I'm still gonna attack, I might as well. It's probably not gonna help much. Yeah, cannon soldiers just, just enough. Is just enough to survive the, uh. Is just enough to survive the attack. 
Cannon Soldier's defense, 1300. It's not great. It's not, not very good defense, but it's enough to survive the not very good. Oh, Micro Ray reduces the defense of all monsters by uh, to zero. All face up monsters to zero. Um, I think I'm going to activate Compulsory Evacuation Device and force that Cannon Soldier back to your hand. Because I don't want to lose my, uh, I, I don't want to lose my mummy. Thank you. Now he's probably just summoned it again. You know? Draw. Okay, Book of Life isn't helpful because I don't have any zombies in my graveyard. Switch to the fa atta attack mode. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I'll just keep attacking. I might as well at this point. You know? <laughs> Can the soldiers down. He, he has two cards in his hand and his two back row isn't stopping me right now. So I might as well just keep attacking, you know? <laughs> Those two back row cards aren't helping him at the moment. I end my turn. Hmm. I never want to. I never want to actually tribute summon despair because tributing two monsters for something with lower than three thousand attack points feels wrong to me. Even if it is despair from the dark, which is a very powerful card, it's not powerful enough for me in my opinion, to warrant two sacrifices. Eh. I'll do it anyway. I sacrifice my face down spirit reaper and pyramid turtle to summon despair from the dark in attack mode. Rawr. Why, why doesn't despair from the dark get its own intro sequence? Also I'm activating book of life. I get to revive my uh, pyramid turtle and remove from play your um, uh, ancient gear. Why not? Pyramid turtle in attack mode, and your guy removed from play. I don't want it to be accessible. And now I activate giant trunade, returning all spell and trap cards on the field to their owner's hands. Reckless greed goes back down, and I get to smack you in the face for a lot of damage. It's probably actually GG right here. I believe. I think I have lethal right now. Yeah, I definitely do. I, in fact, have lethal plus 800 or so. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty easy, was a pretty easy duel considering the machine. Well, the machine isn't ac the machine deck isn't actually that amazing to be honest. It isn't that great. Bu -bu -bu oh, that's a bit weird. Why? Whatever, sure. Well, um, I guess I'll... I guess I'll uh, cut the video here. 18 minutes is plenty considering we, do we did two of these. Only about 10 or so left. Or 12. I'll see you guys next time when we continue to duel Nico with structure decks. Next will probably, I think, be the fire attribute one. So, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, everybody.